This is a 1936 Harley Davidson knucklehead. It is an X Club bike. The member was from the Saints in the San Francisco Bay Area. There's no insignia on the motorcycle, but I do have a picture of the guy standing next to the bike in his patch from back in the day. It is a Harley Davidson knuckle frame, although not a 36 frame. The cases, I do not know if they're matching because I never dropped the skid pan on the right. There are good Harley numbers on the left and correct belly numbers on the left side. It is, like I said, a Harley Davidson knuckle frame. You can tell that real simply by the top motor mount. Got the casting numbers back here. It's been molded in the front here. This bike was built somewhere in the 70s and 80s. No actual built date, and as anybody with a brain knows, a chop was built as a guy wrote it back in the day. It was constantly built and updated and changed, just like you do today. It's a Harley Davidson hand head transmission in it. The cases appear good. I've never tried to start this bike. It is an old school chopper with club history. Today's world makes it very cool. Has a little saying back here. Head and herbs. She gimme some, I said me first. Or she said gimme some, I said me first. Then there's pot herb. My sons are hard heads. My dad says I'm a knucklehead. Now I own one, 1936. So obviously the guy was a little loaded when he did that. Beautiful set of heads on here. Doesn't appear to be any cracks. So we got nice, beautiful numbers here. Now, a note on your early cases. Either you got a nice low mile original paint bike or they've all been repaired. Just because you can't see the repair doesn't mean it hasn't been done. There are welders out there that can repair this stuff. The shot paint them, you'll never ever know. This motor should come apart, be cleaned up, rebuilt, redone, and put back just pitching. When you're done with it, you'll never see that repair. That's just how it is. You think your case hasn't been repaired? Guess again. So, there you have it. The last 36 knuckle chopper I saw, based upon someone said with history, uh, <laughs> That sold for 40000 with a blown up motor. So, starting bid on this one is 25000 It's going on eBay. They'll call me up and says, I got twenty five grand. I won't wait for bids. It's your bike. Starting bid is twenty five. dollars If people bid it up, fine. If they say, I'll take it, fine. It's off. Simple as that. Done deal. I have a title on it in my name. Again, the last 36 knuckle chopper I sell saw so sell I saw it sell myself it was right there when it happened on eBay or not eBay at Davenport brought 40 grand with a busted up motor it was blown the first one was gone and he'd be gone through it completely which makes it no different than this so I saw the man's insignia I know this had club history there was no anything on the other one besides someone said but I know for a fact this has history on it so there you go um, the coolest of your knucklehead choppers is a 36 and there it is hard to get I did not make very many there's very few left and most of you guys who get a 36 put them back to stock so trying to find a 36 chopper from back in the day almost impossible you need about 10 stock ones before you ever get one of these so show me 25 and it's all yours talk to you guys in the next video